Melt, the Malawi Early Literacy Team. Before we talk about Melt and the crucial services we provide, let's talk about the M in Melt. Malawi, the country we provide our services to. Malawi is a small Southeast African country. It is a long, landlocked country. To put the size of Malawi into perspective, here it is superimposed over the U.S. Malawi stretches from central New York to North Carolina, but in terms of square miles it is comparable to the size of Pennsylvania. Malawi became a British colony in 1891, gaining its independence in 1964. For the next 30 years, Malawi was a one-party country with President Banda presiding until 1994. He lost the first held elections. This came after the population voted to make the country a multi-party democracy in 1993. A budding democracy, Malawi is working towards curbing corruption, building its economy, and establishing a nationwide education system. Despite these efforts, Malawi faces widespread poverty issues, consistently ranking as one of the 10 poorest countries in the world. That brings us back to MELT, a group of education and business professionals with a passion for young children and the doors that can be opened for those children through literacy. Former Secretary General of the United Nations, Kofi Annan, was quoted as saying, Education is a human right with immense power to transform. On its foundation rests the cornerstones of freedom, democracy, and sustainable human development. Mr. Annan has also said that literacy is a bridge from misery to hope. It is with our focus on early literacy that we strive to bring the children of northern Malawi access to books and materials they otherwise would not have. The challenges these children face are numerous, from long walks to school, sometimes as much as two hours through the bush, to arriving to an outdoor or thatched roof school where inclement weather cancels class. From having a dirt floor and no seats or desks in the classroom, to being considered fortunate to just have a pencil, some paper, and a few bottle cap counters as supplies. From having teachers who do the best they can with very limited resources, to missing a considerable amount of school due to a pervasive illness such as malaria. And yet through all of this adversity, the students and teachers of Malawi remain positive, using the little resources they do have efficiently. MELT aims to provide four key services to the 10 plus schools we serve. One, early literacy publications. Two, teacher training. Three, teacher edition manuals and materials. And four, a mobile library. We are committed to providing culturally appropriate early readers. These readers will be about Malawian children and their daily lives. We have found that just bringing over U.S. books poses a cultural problem. The Malawian kids can't relate to anthropomorphic characters. Walking and talking animals, acting and dressing like humans is strange to them. They also cannot relate to items we take for granted like vacuum cleaners, dishwashers, computers, and more. We are working to build a library of 40 to 50 titles. The images in our books are taken right in Malawi. The MELT program includes ongoing early literacy training for primary teachers in Northern Malawi. All teachers will receive extensive classroom training. We will provide instruction manuals and ABC fluency kits for teachers to use after each training workshop. These teacher edition manuals will include detailed examples of the best practices for the use of the early readers, ABC fluency kits, and other early literacy materials. Our last service, the mobile library, was an idea that came to us from a Malawian teacher. During a teacher meeting in 2015, teachers were encouraged to suggest ideas for ways we could help. We wanted the teachers to have access to the books we would be publishing. It's important to remember that during the rainy season, most rural teachers are blocked access to Mizuzu due to washed out roads. And schools with thatched roofs or outdoor classrooms cannot keep the books and materials from getting wet and damaged. One teacher said, 
What if we brought the books to each school like a mobile clinic, a mobile library? This was a light bulb moment for us. It would allow us to get books out to the most remote schools and save teachers from long, expensive trips through the bush, while ensuring the books will be stored properly to last a long time. And so throughout 2016 and 2017, we fundraised for a new Toyota Land Cruiser. Due to the overwhelming generosity of donors, we were able to raise the funds needed. The support we've had has been outstanding. Much of the support comes from well before Melt was established. Our team leader, Heather White, is a founding member of a joint mission of the Canton and Watertown First Presbyterian Churches, Women of Grace Widows Fund. The Widows Fund has been helping the widows of the northern region of Malawi since 2008. Women of Grace helps provide 45 widows with funds for acute needs and village loan projects that support job opportunities like beekeeping, the pig project, and a sewing project. We feel strongly that the collaboration between MELT and the Women of Grace is a model for how two organizations can come together to share the responsibility of an expensive resource like the Land Cruiser, and to better the lives of Malawian women, teachers, and children by pooling and overlapping our resources. It was the four education-based Women of Grace missions from 2012 to 2015 that planted the seed for MELT's formation. The classroom tours and teacher workshops held during those four mission trips allowed us to learn firsthand the challenges and needs of the teachers and their students. During our 2017 trip, we brought new Melt published books to establish our library, met with teachers, visited some of the schools in our program, and picked up the new Land Cruiser. We had a productive and eventful trip full of trials and triumphs. One of the biggest trials of the trip was the delay in receiving the Land Cruiser. It took a week of calls, filling out paperwork, and office visits to get the vehicle, something we had anticipated having on day one at the airport. This delay meant we were not able to visit a few of the more remote schools that we had planned on delivering books to. We spent most of the first week driving around in a Toyota Corolla with five adults and a trunk full of books and supplies, forcing all but the driver to exit the vehicle whenever a sizable rut, dip, or bump presented itself. We remain positive and are able to look back on that time as productive despite the vehicle limitations and itinerary changes. During our commutes in the cramped Corolla, we purchased plastic bins to store our books, ordered custom shelves to house the plastic bins, ordered a custom rack to carry our big books, visited Mboi and Cananina schools, held a four and a half hour long teacher workshop and brainstorming session, set up our library, shot multiple book ideas, met with the Deputy Director of Education, Jeremiah Kamkuza, and met with Director of the Children's Library at the University of Mizuzu, Gift Dube. We received the Land Cruiser just in time, the day before we were set to head southeast to the Nakata Bay area where Chivumu School is located. Being our most remote school, we made the decision to give the school funds to have their own set of shelves built. This small library will store their copies of Melt Readers. On our way back to Lalongwe, we were able to secure a meeting with U.S. Ambassador to Malawi, Virginia Palmer. She was receptive to our mission and goals and provided us with information and contacts. In 2016, a relationship was formed with the boys and girls soccer teams at Mboe School. We collected soccer cleats, balls, and jerseys to give the teams in exchange for their help with jobs to improve the school. In 2016, the teams helped varnish and transport new benches. In 2017, they agreed to resurface the chalkboards and paint the classrooms. When spending time with a Malawian teacher, it doesn't take long to realize the passion and excitement they have for their job. One of the best examples of this enthusiasm for teaching is the head teacher at Kananina, Benton. During our 2017 visit to his school, he made a point to show us each classroom, introduce us to every teacher, and show us the teacher's office. He has an unparalleled pride for his school. It was during our trip to Chivumu that we were reminded just how precious and fleeting life is in Malawi. While meeting with the teachers, we were informed that Steve, a Chivumu teacher we visited with in 2016, had died. And to compound this news, we learned that his son Emmanuel had also passed away. This was something none of us were emotionally prepared for, the cruel reality of life and death in Malawi. 
Unfortunately, this is all too common, like finding out that the lovable electrician that wired the solar panels for the widow's sewing machines had died of pneumonia just two weeks after we saw him, or watching helplessly as a child died of malaria in the bush. And now, of course, a beloved teacher and his son were gone. And this is where it is important to say that with our work in Malawi, we do not just come in to provide the help we think is needed. We listen, we look, we learn, we build relationships. Melt strongly feels this is the best way to serve the real needs of the Malawian teachers and students. The kindness and positive attitudes of Malawians makes it easy to build strong friendships quickly. And wouldn't you do anything for a friend in need? You may ask yourself, how can I help the 10 plus schools, 30 teachers, and 3,000 students that Melt reaches? Children have helped by having a lemonade stand, collecting change, and holding a readathon. Individuals and families have helped by sponsoring a literacy kit. Groups and organizations have helped by sponsoring a book. Funds of any amount can be donated to help with future mission trips, book and literacy kit publishing, and land cruiser maintenance. Spread the word, like us on Facebook, share our posts. Invite us to speak to your group, school, or organization. Sound that